Your prerequisites are understanding production tasks and how to use them. This is the first of 14 tutorials explaining the Time Maker Matrix. This will give you a basic understanding and orientation of this revolutionary feature. The matrix shows today's, the past's, and the future's dates. Every task, every project, every meeting, every workflow item, every communication, literally every single thing that happens in the organization is presented on the matrix. As we said, the top row indicates today's date in turquoise, the past dates in red as it's overdue, and the future's dates in royal blue. The number at the top of each column, as long as there's not one task in the column, says how many tasks are in that column. So November 15, 2011, Tuesday, has two tasks in that column, one, two. The number in the small white box with arrows on each side indicates how many days are without tasks between columns. So between the 20th and the 22nd, there is one day without tasks. Between the 2nd of November and the 15th of November, there are 12 days without tasks. Instead of having empty columns, we just put the number to consolidate the space. Now to further understand how the matrix places tasks, let's take a totally new company with no assigned tasks. The matrix is totally empty. When a task gets assigned to a person, it gets placed at the target date on the matrix. For example, I, Adam Green, assign a task to Mary Rose. We assign today as the target date, and we send it. As soon as the task gets sent, the task will appear in today's column in turquoise on the matrix. That is the date the task was assigned for. Makes sense, right? Let's populate the matrix. Let's add a task for yesterday. It should be noted that this is strictly for training purposes and tasks can't normally be added for the past. As you can see, the task has been placed in yesterday's column and yes, it is red, indicating the task is overdue. Now let's assign a task for tomorrow. As you can see, the task has been placed for tomorrow, and we'll add a few more tasks. Now the matrix is much more populated with a few more tasks, some for much in the future, some just for tomorrow, some for today, and one is overdue. Simple. You can control the view of the matrix and the size of the boxes by clicking Control 1, Super Mini Boxes, Control 2, Mini Boxes, Control 3, Small, Control 4, Medium Sized, Control 5, Big, Control 6, Wide, Control 7, Extremely Wide, Control 8, Tall, and control 9, extremely tall. You can also do these selections from the view toolbar. Notice the shortcuts on the side. You can also control the size of the boxes by the following shortcuts. Control G increases the width. Control Alt G decreases the width. Control H increases the height. Control Alt H decreases the height. Again, you can also do those actions from the view toolbar. Notice the shortcuts to the side. And that concludes TimeMaker Matrix lesson number one. Your next recommended lesson is the task box heading, lesson two. See you there.